1,500 feet ish. A lot of people will say, no, that won't work at all. Well, I'm going to show you today that actually it does. When doing PoE cameras, or maybe a PoE access point, you can use these guys, PoE extenders. I'll even hold it upside down for you guys. If you use these, they will extend the length because they're active, meaning they take a little bit of power and then they regenerate your signal forward. I'm not gonna go into technical description because some people are like, I just wanna know if it works or not. So today, I'm gonna show you that actually it does work and I'm gonna show you some tools in front of me here of it working. And I even set up a camera to test here. Now, thank you very much for fast cabling, for working with me for maybe almost two years now. Awesome people to work with, very good support, good, good, good products. And yes, they gave me these things like two years ago, but I've been still using them, playing with them and making videos because they work really, really well. And uh, I like them too. Also, vertical cable, I sent them a message and said, hey, I can't afford to buy two boxes of wire to play with and do this. And I have this really cool idea and a really cool video I want to do. Can you send me a box of maybe beat up that's been returned or that has a certain amount in there? And they said, yes. And I even have my vertical cable shirt, so I put that on too. So they sent me a box with cable. I'm not going to tell you how much it is because I'm going to show you the testers that I have here. It will show us how long that's in there, and then we'll combine that, give you the numbers, and we'll test it. Um, there's a couple things we need here for this to actual work. A PoE injector, and I'm going to use the fast cabling one. They gave me um, a while back the 95 watt PoE injector. It's a gigabit one. They do have a 10 gig one if you need that, but uh, maybe they'll send me one to play with. Don't know. So we have this. We have two PoE extenders that help out in this situation. We have three network testers, and I see that Vertical Cable sent me some waterproof inline couplers that you could, if you have a cable that's too short or has a break in it and you need to fix it, you could take these things, plug your cable in, waterproof, tighten them back up, and be back to working again. Say a squirrel or something chewed the cable and need to repair it, this will work too. So now that I have two of those, I'm going to use one in our example here. And then I'm going to show you it working with my camera that I have here. I have a Hikvision 6 megapixel turret. Because you can see there's no lens on the front of it. We'll show you that. But let's go over some specs on what we need to make this work. On to Fast Cabling's website. We go over to PoE Network. We go over to PoE Extenders. They have tons of um, goodies on their website, so highly recommended. What we're looking at today is the 300 meter direct burial PoE Ethernet extension kit, which is this one. And they give us some examples down here. Scenario A, we have a switch, coupler, and a camera, so we're gonna do this one. But they also show you we can go, if we can click on this, Oh, they have tags so you can click that. So we have router, injector, inline PoE extender, probably a really long length in between here. And then we have another one and then another injector to power the access point probably on either end here, right? Okay. And I think we have, so they give us an ex example here. We can go 300 meters right here. So two units work together. We'll read up to 200 meters. Okay, and it shows us what our voltage drop should be. I'll put these in the video for you guys. And go from there. 1,640 feet at this one right here. So there's another example. So we have to have a PoE plus switch. So now that we have some examples, let's have a look and see what we can get here. What I want to do first is validate how long the cables are. So let's try, we'll turn on all these devices. It'll take a couple seconds to turn on. Okay. We will use, so what I've done is I've opened this box and I've just put RJ45 ends on, both of them. Another guy lent me another box right here because I wanted to test it. Let's 
mark down how much cable is in these boxes. So we need this guy. Let's use a coupler to couple our cable. It's even shielded too. That's pretty sweet. So we'll throw in our tester. Go on here. Okay, we'll try the link runner. Let's see here. We'll go cable test. This one says 581 feet of wire or 623. So I'm going to write those down. The fluke. And we can use the same wire mapper because, I mean, they used to be the same company. 568 feet is what it says. So it's looking at the lowest number on the cable. So we'll write that one down and it's going to fail. <laughs> 568 feet. And it, the good thing about this right now is it says it's failing all the way up to 10 gig. We already know that's not going to work. It's saying it'll do 10 meg. So that's good to know. I'll leave that up on the screen. Then what we'll do is we'll try this guy, but we have to change our piece. So we'll use oh, this guy right in here. We'll plug him. This is our beta unit that I have from uh, Trend Networks, the Signal Tech QT. He gave us our wire map. Perfect. Worked awesome. It passed the cable test or the cable uh, mapping, but it failed the network speed test because it's well over what we should be recommending and using. Oh, well. so this one says we got 579 feet. So let's go at this. 579. We should do this to the other box of wire over here too. Let's try this again. So this guy says, can't see it, but 747 feet. Okay, so we'll write that down. Even have um, O rings on there. Cool. Okay. Same thing. We're not going to save it. We already know it failed. 757. And we know it's going to fail because it's really, really, really long. The fluke tester and the trend networks probably look at the distance and say if it's over too far, then it's going to fail. What I want to do now, since these two tools can see the cable, I wonder if it could detect the overall full length before we go too far. Um, I'm gonna go over here to this guy. There we go. And let's see what happens. We'll go here. So the fluke, I don't care about saving it. Let's cable test. Oh, 1,362 feet. Okay, well, that's good, All right? Let's try the trend. It's too far. No. Oh, no, it did. It just failed it. But we got 1,315 feet. Okay. So if we plug in our PoE injector. I have a network cable, so we could test all this. Make sure we have a network. Add it in. What happens if we test these three testers at full length? What happens? We need to take this out. Oh, it detected it. So it can do up to 100 meg? No, he didn't like anything. Okay, that's fine. So then let's try the net alley. What does he do? Let's go back to switch test we'll go refresh see if he detects anything i don't see any link lights so we might be out of luck totally fine because we are going 1362 feet so now let's try since those aren't working what happens if we put an injector in the middle here. Let's take this coupler out. Take these caps off. And one of these comes apart. Oh yeah, here we go. So these kind of slide apart. I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not, but one of them does. 
Okay, so we need to go the right direction also. So power in, which would be this direction to here. Push it in. Okay, and then out to our box, to the other one, to here. Refresh. Do you want to pre-initialize the Ethernet port? Sure. Let it do its thing. I believe there's little lights down here. You guys can't see them, but there's little lights on in there. Maybe you see them? Yep. It says no PoE. Oh, there it goes. Now it's classifying. It gave us an IP address. That's why it's taking a little bit long because I do have it plugged into a network here. It's on VLAN 1. Our PoE is... Uh, we got 20 or 41.4 volts and we're able to do 28.8 watts. That's no lights on the top again. Bummer. Ah, there we go. So it worked. So it's pinging an IP address. It tells us that it will work at 10 base T. Okay, well, that's good. 10 full. We're good. I mean, that should be plenty enough for a said camera, but oh, and Natalie found it. We got link lights. Yes, thank you for lights on the top. So we have some kind of visual. And we got connection at 10 meg. It's got PoE on there. And we got an IP address. Like this. And plug in our camera. If I put my camera here. Oh, it's online. You probably can't see it, but there is a little orange the orange light there it kind of stays on so the camera's on brought my tablet here to see if we can see it when it comes up i don't know if the web app oh it does work so as you can see camera it works over 1362 feet i mean that's pretty sweet so what we used is our 95 watt high power PoE injector because we want to go the distance. We used two boxes of wire and two PoE extenders. The key thing for these to work properly also is to make sure that you put them in the right direction. Power has to go in from A and out to B. There's two scenarios right there that it's working. Very kind of detailed, but sorry if it's long. I wanted to give you guys all the scenarios that I could think of using three tools, um, the Trend Network's beta unit of the Signal QT, the Fluke Network's Link IQ, and the Link Runner AT4000. All gave very good results, exactly what I wanted to show you guys, that it was connecting at 10 meg. And 10 meg for a single camera is really, really good, especially if you're going that distance. Um, make sure you guys use um, shielded and has a ground wire in there because you go that you're going to get static and at each end i didn't put them in this video because i don't have a pair right now make sure you use surge protectors on both ends trust me it'll save your equipment if you get some static or if you get lightning proofs in the pudding if we use two of these po extenders with the actual caps on if they're going outside it will work and give you a camera that works so if you have any more questions let me know and uh, we'll go from there Check out the uh, vertical website for tons of little adapters like these guys for outdoor, their cable, and uh, fast cabling for their products and stuff like that. And uh, have a great day.